What up, Libra? Happy Scorpio season. It's your girl, our rainy stormer, checking in. What's good? How you feeling this Scorpio season? Has this Scorpio season cleared some shit out for you? Are you still doing the same dance? I know. Scorpio season can be... Okay. For real. <laughs> Scorpio season can be... Um... Things get deep. And honestly, uh, Libras, especially the Libras that I know... Or Libras, people with Libra energy, y'all really don't like things to get too deep. You really don't. Uh, I, I think this earthly material focus this month for you, especially because we have Virgo and Saturn out, you just kind of like, eh, I just want things to be. I want to work on my own shit. I want to work on my own money. I want to work on my own. And now Taurus. Especially with this Tory and full moon that we just had, this Venusian energy. It's like, I, I actually just want to make sure that my stuff is established so I can move forward the way that I need to move forward. This is also a calling. If it's not this, if it's not you trying to get things in order as far as your business or anything that has to do with finances, this can also be a calling for you to slow down. Um, if, if there's something going on with the business or finances, you may have been doing business with the Taurus or a Virgo. And so there might be a, a call to slow some things down. This home, foundation, new projects, the, the, the baby, you know, new home, new foundation, new projects, something that needs to be reestablished that is that could have been shaky in the past and i feel like maybe this scorpio season is calling you to reevaluate the things that you need um for this fourth house energy of your home like i said this could be a physical home you could be moving or planning on a move or uh planning on something that has to do like what financing a new move or a project or this could just have to do with the self like, maybe you're trying to figure out, okay, well, what do I really want now? now? Now that everything has kind of been cleared out through Virgo season and this full moon, you know, from this Virgo uh, season into this uh, Taurus full moon, you're just trying to figure out what do I need? I have a couple cards out. We have morality. Yes, there is a need of that stick in the booty to be uh, obliterated. Healing. Yes, healing in reverse. This is the king of water, isolation, three of air. Whew, Libra, have you been through it? We have maturity in reverse. We have postponement, four of air. And we have nothingness, which is the major arcana of this deck. And I think this is either... 10 i think v is 10 or it's don't get me lying because <laughs> i don't know baby i really don't know so i'm just gonna put this at the top because this is what we're going to be focusing on um there could be a postponement in regards to um this new beginning that you are wanting in this fourth house energy there could be a lot of postponements due to you not wanting to change. You not wanting to change your ways. You not wanting to change. You not wanting to heal. Because this healing wants to come in. But you, you know, this, this Scorpio energy is wanting you to confront this healing. But you're not wanting to confront this healing. Um, there could be you isolating. And this probably doesn't have to. This This doesn't necessarily have to do with. Um, isolation from people there could be a, a part of you that is isolated that you are not ready to melt but as we move into Sagittarius season that fire that beautiful fire kicks in it's gonna kick that ass and maturity 
I feel like since this this maturity is in reverse, there has been a need for Libras to mature. I don't I I don't think this is a calling of Libra has been in the most mature state. Um I feel like there has been some and I think that's why there's a lot of this this um earthly energy on the on the on the table because Virgo uh Saturn Taurus this is all earth energy and earth energy out of all energies let's be honest it's probably one of the most mature elements in the zodiac is Virgo Saturn Virgo Capricorn Taurus um probably one of the most I mean we could argue that but for the for all seriousness you know what I'm saying? Like those are the 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 signs that are a little bit more serious, a little bit more taken seriously than the rest of the elements of the zodiac. Um, there's gonna be a need for this maturity in terms of your work life, the Saturn energy, and it's also gonna be a, another sense of maturity that needs to come in in regards to your fourth house. Um, to me, this this isolation card and this nothingness card together, it's like, Libra, I get that there's a part of you that's just like, it, I don't know, it almost is like you're running away from this. It's like you, you don't want to face the fact that this healing actually does need to take place regardless if you want to, regardless if you want it to or not. This healing needs to take place because you're going to keep running around in this same circle with no foundation, you know, no real values, no real nothing. It's just it's it's this there's nothingness, even though it's a state of being the state of, you know, just 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 being present, just being in the moment. I don't know. It's just like this tightness, this morality card, this this tightness, unable, this, you know, I associate morality a lot with uh, Saturn, with Saturn, Capricorn, and Virgo. You know, sometimes being so uptight in the mind, being so uptight within the self that you don't want things to change and things sometimes become very stagnant. This po postponement happens and you keep postponing things and keep postponing things and keep postponing things because you're unwilling to change especially with this healing card it's time to get to this healing and scorpio is going to force you because sagittarius ain't gonna be like sagittarius is like i mean you think i'm not you're not like i'm not really i'm not really worried about if you come in or not libra because i'm here but scorpio is going to be on that ass about you taking the proper steps to get into this healing you know whether it's subliminally subliminally or not <laughs> you know so isolation this is isolation is different from being alone isolation is totally different from actually being alone there's a part of you that is iced out Look at this healing card and look at the isolation card. This is, even though isolation is, is three of air. And this is the king of water. This is going on within the mind. There's a part of you in the mind that is unwilling to change. That is unwilling to move. It's frozen. It wants to come out. It wants to speak. It wants to be healed. But maturity-wise... You just think that this is just, I mean, why? Why do I need to do it? I, I just feel that energy. Like, why? Why does that need to happen? I'm good, says Libra. I'm good. I don't need that. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm good. I don't know why y'all keep thinking. No, Libra. You really need to be mature about the situation. And I hate to be that earth sign that's like, ah, but really, this is like the Capricorn speaking through me. I don't really even have a lot of Capricorns. I don't really have... I have a North Node in Sagittarius in the 10th. But I don't really have any strong uh, Capricorn placements. Nah. But Cap is like... 
we need to be mature about this, Libra. And there's a part of Scorpio that's like, yeah, are we going to get to this or not? Because we're going to keep postponing this shit. No Mercury Retro, great cap. Until you get it right. Okay, Libra? You know where to find me. Arrhenia Storm checking in. Arrhenia Storm at gmail.com. Arrhenia Storm link tree. Find me. Hit me up. And I will see you in that season. Peace.